Good morning, everybody. Today is Tuesday, April 21st, 2020. Today is Tuesday, April 21st, 2020. We've got a few things on that schedule over there. It's a very exciting week because on Wednesday, there's a special holiday. And tomorrow, for your writing, you're going to be doing something different. Wednesday, April 22nd, is... Well, it's Luella's birthday, but that's not what I was thinking of. It's actually Earth Day. It's a day to celebrate Mother Earth and all of the things the Earth provides us. Also, we celebrate the ways that we can help the Earth. So tomorrow, you'll be working on that. Today for writing, you must finish your how-to book you started on Thursday of last week. All right, so let's go jump into the schedule and we'll talk more about that. For word study, we're going to look at our long vowel sounds. Remember, vowels make two sounds. So there's A, E, I, O, U. And the short sound we've studied, A, E, I, A, and A. Uh. Well, now we're going to talk about how the vowels actually say their name. So A says A. E says E. I says I. O says O. And U says U or U. Some of the vowels do have a few more sounds, but we're going to talk about long sounds today. There you go. All right, so we're going to look at our long sounds. Watch the video for that. For writing, finish your how to book using the writer's checklist. Finish it today. Make sure it's colorful, labeled. Make sure there's tips and warnings like you we talked about yesterday. And um, my goodness, uh, check your letters, match the letters, match the pictures, match the sounds, check your spelling, your snap words, check the end marks, all of it. And then hand it to someone and see if they can do it. Now, if it's written so readers can read, then Whoever you hand that book to, as long as they can read, should be able to do what you're asking them to do, what you're teaching them how to do. All right, for reading, please go back into Freckle. There's a lot of great reading resources there. If um, you don't do the decodable books on Freckle, then please check out the word study and building words. You just need practice, practice, practice with words. All right. Math, we're going to do mixed addition and subtraction. All right, so you're just going to solve the math problems that I put on the whiteboard. All right, so I want to talk to you about this Earth Day. Earth Day is a really important day of the year. If we were at school, we would definitely be doing some celebrating with Mr. Manny and um, a lot more activities would be happening. Um, but we're at home. Hmm. So what I want you to think about is what do you want to do? To help make sure our planet, nature, the environment is healthy. And how can you get somebody to do it with you? Huh. So if I think it's really important to pick up trash and litter in my community, what am I going to tell people to try to get them to do it with me? We call that persuasive. If I persuade you to do something, I'm actually getting you to change your mind about something and do something the way that I'm thinking. Now, you do this all the time. You persuade people in your family a lot. It might be just trying to get a snack. It might be trying to get someone to play with you. But you're trying to get someone to do something and to change their mind so they join what you're thinking. But I want you to get someone to join you into helping the earth. So let's see. If it was litter, litter in my community, what could I tell people? to help them understand what I'm thinking? And what can I tell them so they do it with me? 
I want you to think about that because tomorrow you're going to write a problem and how you're going to get people to change their mind, but that's tomorrow. All right, but start thinking about it. Today, finish your how-to, finish your how-to, finish your how-to. Let's be responsible, respectful, ready to learn, and let's really think about all the wonderful things Mother Nature gives us. I hope you have a great Tuesday, and definitely check out the videos below. Thank you.